Hello, I'm Hoag Levins, this is Advertising Age, and today we're talking about what appears to be the first effort by a major TV company and an ad agency to produce TV commercials in a carbon neutral manner. Over the last several weeks, the Versus Cable Network, headquartered in Connecticut, and the Brooklyn Brothers Ad Agency of New York City have worked together to measure and then offset the carbon emissions generated by a commercial film shoot near San Antonio, Texas. The project is part of a larger Brooklyn Brothers plan to make all of its commercial production operations carbon neutral. Agency co-founder Guy Barnett explains. We've uh, teamed up with a company in the UK called uh, ERM who are helping uh, us create a uh, new software tool where we can calculate our exact emissions, uh, carbon emissions, for a uh, typical TV production. Uh, this covers things like travel, uh, the uh, vehicles used on production, the generators, the lighting, uh, film processing, the power of computers that we use uh, through the editing process and the finishing process. So we can calculate a pretty exact uh, figure for the tonnage of uh, carbon that we're emitting throughout the production process. Part of Comcast, Versus used to be the Outdoor Life Network and it still specializes in sports and outdoor programming. As part of the advertising launch of a new hunting and fishing feature called Versus Country, the cable network worked with Brooklyn Brothers to document the carbon footprint of a commercial shoot. Bill Bergefin, Versus Senior VP for Marketing, made the decision to get involved. We believe that now is a good time to do this because we're launching Versus Country, which is a brand around our field sports programming, which social responsibility is a big part of it in terms of conservation and preservation and carbon offsetting with the initial advertising campaign seemed a, a perfect way to embark on this effort. Bill, is carbon neutrality the new policy for all versus commercials from now on? This is the first time we're really embarking on doing the carbon neutral shoot. So we're going to take it as it comes, learn a little bit about it, and see if it's something that we want to continue with beyond versus country. Let's go back to Guy for some hard numbers. So Guy, you flew in lots of people, used a fleet of trucks, operated boats and gasoline-powered generators, food stations, cameras, and lighting galore. According to your new software, how much carbon did all of that pump into the air? The campaign uh, ended up being about uh, 14, 15 different commercials of varying lengths. Uh, we shot in uh, Texas, um, on lakes and in the forests and in the hills up there. Uh, the total tonnage we calculated is about 8.9 tons, uh, which will offset uh, in the next week or so. Um, the offsetting includes all of the production facilities. I think there are about 80 people, 40 vehicles, uh, 10 different flights, uh, and a variety of post-production uh, carbon-emitting equipment. And what will it cost to offset that carbon output? To offset 9 tons, uh, it's about $20 per ton is the average cost for offsetting. So we're looking at uh, you know, $180 uh, to offset uh, the entire production. Did that amount surprise you? It's a lot less than we thought it would be. You've created both a precedent that shows it can be done, as well as a software system that establishes the method for doing it. Do you feel like a pioneer or sense the potential for what you've done to ultimately change the entire business of commercial production? It would be nice to think that we had uh, such a large effect. Uh, we're obviously a very small agency, um, very small business, and if we can do it, we feel that, uh, that everybody can do it. As I look at this, it occurs to me that along with TV commercial production, your system is directly applicable to the shooting of Hollywood films or large-scale still photography fashion shoots, correct? Uh, the software that we've created with ERM takes into account all aspects of production. Uh, so absolutely it can be applicable to the film industry, any type of uh, still shoot, um, any type of uh, video interview. So there it is. I guess Hollywood and Fashion Week better stand by as eco-action becomes an ever more important part of brand building and film shoots. Guy, Bill, thanks for being with us on this latest report about global warming in the advertising industry. And thanks to our audience for being here too. This is Hoag Levins at Advertising Age in New York.